June 8, 2021 Daily Devotional 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in your midst? The Church is Not a Building by Elder Chris Beltran Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Realize that He lives in us and is given to us by God. Therefore, we do not only belong to ourselves. When we read our verse today on its own, it seems like Paul is saying that our individual bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. To be clear, God's Spirit does live in every individual believer once receiving Jesus as Lord and Savior. But in this particular context, Paul shows us that the Holy Spirit dwells in a group of believers known as the Church. The word you here is in the plural, not singular. This means we become the temple of God, even without a physical structure to meet in. Then comes the saying that the Church is the people, not the building. Today's passage created a third illustration that Paul used to describe the local church in Corinth. In verses 5 to 9, he first compared them to a field being planted and watered by himself and Apollos as God's workers. The Lord assigned each of us tasks in the field or church, but in the end, God would be the one to make it grow. With this, Paul is asking his readers the local church in Corinth, if they understand that they together are considered God's temple and that God's Spirit lives in each of them. Then, in verses 10 to 15, he compared the community of Christians to a building being constructed on top of the foundation of Jesus Christ. Our church foundation is not about how big our bank accounts are or who is our pastor or leader because Jesus Christ himself is the foundation. The foundational material on which we build on the church, whether gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, will be shown for what it really is on the judgment day as fire will be used to test each person's work quality. Therefore, always strive for quality in our ministries. We remember that in the Old Testament, people worshipped God in the tabernacle. Later, King Solomon built a marvelous temple and the people worshipped there. Sadly, the temple was destroyed by the Babylonians, but then, under the guidance of Zerubbabel, the second temple was built and it was renovated and improved by King Herod. However, the second temple was also destroyed this time by the Romans in AD 70. Since then, God had not asked His people to build a temple for Him. Instead, scriptures say if we accept Jesus and walk in His commandments, at the same time meet together as one body, the Holy Spirit will reside in us, individually and collectively. So we are God's temple. There is nothing wrong or more acceptable if we gather in beautiful furnished buildings or just meet at house churches. We must never forget that a church is not a building or a location, but a church is made up of God's people. We are God's temple and His Spirit dwells in us. Reflection Paul further added, You do not belong to yourself. It means we all belong to God and at the same time to one another. It gives us a sense of belonging. It also means that we must be cautious about how we conduct ourselves daily as we do not want to harm the church with our careless words and actions. We will come to worship early and not be late. We all contribute to the growth of our church with the different gifts He has given to us. We will continue meeting each other regularly to build each other up, even online in this pandemic. It means we do not transfer to another church because there is belongingness 
accountability and responsibility in our church family. Prayer Lord, as we reflect on today's devotion, it reminds me that as part of your church, your Holy Spirit dwells in each of us. With this, I must contribute to the growth of your church. I have responsibilities in helping my brothers and sisters by being present to supporting and encouraging one another. We are not meant to be alone. We belong to you, to one another, and we should be grateful always. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.